Okay, so today we are here at the A team, uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu team, check mat in Westminster. That's correct. Uh, located um, in, in Orange County. We are here to check on the preparations for the 2015 SJJIF World that will be happening at the Cal State Long Beach Walter Pyramid in Long Beach, California on November the 21st and 22nd. Um, Professor, can you uh, talk to us about your team and how you guys have placed in previous SJJIF and ABJJF tournaments? Uh, yes. Um we here at A-Team have been competing in uh, as many of the NA BJJF tournaments uh, that we possibly can. It's an amazing show. We love it. Um, I myself, along with my student, Coach CJ Herrera and Coach Angelo Cariente, have been uh, training the kids' team. Uh, we work really hard, and uh, our, we've been getting great results. And we're a really small school in a really small city in uh, Westminster, California. And in 2013, for Team of the Year, we got second place for gi and for no gi. The same in 2014, we also got second place in gi uh, and in no gi. And I think amongst all of the big schools in Southern California, we are one of the smaller schools and we've been putting out tremendous results. So we're very happy so far with our progress and uh, we would like to get better results in 2015. This year we are joining with my team, Checkmat. I'm a Checkmat black belt and uh, we want to work together to bring the Checkmat name up a bit as well. So. That's what we're doing, 2015. Thank you. Uh, let me ask you another question. How important do you think it is for your students to compete? Uh, that's a great question. Um, you know, we actually don't push competition. I personally, myself, am not a tournament jiu-jitsu style fighter, myself. Um, people are usually surprised when I say that because we do really well in tournaments. So usually what ends up happening with our kids team, for example, is, uh, uh, well, the reason why we do so well is because of how hard we train. And so what will end up happening is, is new students will come in and they'll train in the beginner class, they'll start to do well. Uh, we don't push them to do tournaments, but then they will come to a tournament with us and they'll see all of their teammates that they train with every day doing really well and placing, and that will get them excited and motivated and then usually they want to jump in as well. So um, I think there are a lot of benefits for the kids to do it. Even though I say I'm not uh, personally a, a big fan of tournament style jiu-jitsu, I think um, it's important because it gives them goals to work towards, um, something to focus on, and you know, to get ready for a tournament, it could take up to two months. So the preparation, um, setting the goal, working towards the goal, and accomplishing the goal, I think is an, uh, a great thing for the kids. So in that aspect, I think it's a really good thing. As you know, the SJJIF mission is to take the sports of jiu-jitsu to the Olympics, and has now established the number of continental federations required by the IOC with federations in North America, South America, Asia, Europe, Africa, and Oceania to ensure the development of our sport throughout the world. The SJJIF has proven to have the fairest rules to all competitions by not having advantage points or referee decisions. What's your take on, on Jiu-Jitsu being an Olympic sport? I think it's a great idea, but I think it's really important um, to get the rules down right. In fact, uh, I've said it before, I've said it over many times over the last couple of years, the NABJJF, which I'm not affiliated with. I'm not saying this because I'm part of the organization. I'm not part of the organization. I think they have the best rules. I think they have um, the best system, no advantages, no referee decision. I think uh, that the promoters of the show are very fair. There's no favoritism, which is all we ask. You know, we're a small American school. You know, for us, the name of A-Team a is the American team. So the great thing about the NABJJF is, is I don't feel that there's any um, bias towards other teams or any favoritism towards other teams. We get a fair shot there, and so that's pretty much what we're asking for. Uh, with the NABJJF, and I think that if we're going to go to the Olympics, I think this is a great group of guys, a great team and organization to get us there. I support them. Well, Professor, thank you once again for allowing us uh, in your gym and to speak with you about your team, about your preparations uh, for the SJJIF Worlds, and we hope to see you all there and uh, competing. My pleasure. We'll thank be there. You. Thank you.